Well, good afternoon and welcome to a magnificent day here in Jersey. Spring is in the air, the sun is out, it's just, it's magnificent, it's absolutely stunning. And yes, I am out on another adventure and it's been a while. Been a while since I've made some content, been a while since I've probably been out on the rods, well, the lure rods. And yeah, I just thought, it's such a beautiful day, I'm gonna go make use of it. Now, my plan was today, was to actually go out, fire some metals out of some deep water marks. But when I went to that mark before, or the two marks, massive swell, huge, dangerously, dangerously big and yeah, not fun. It just wouldn't have been worth the climb. Water was a bit milky, water was a bit cloudy too. So I decided to chance it. Small tide though, come out for a basil. Now I'm not promising anything. To be honest, I don't really feel that certain of even a fish, even a scaldy, but I have caught fish around these areas in the past at this time of the year. But hey ho, it's absolutely stunning. So why not just get out, chuck a couple of those for an hour and see how we go. What a magnificent day. Now you're probably thinking, huge swell. Three to five foot today, four foot on average. Coming in from the west, it's absolutely pulsating and battering the coast. So we're gonna have to be a little bit careful in and around the rocks. But as you can see, there's lots of white water, lots of oxygen getting pumped into these areas. So any bait fish are gonna get fizzled up and hopefully there's some basils in this area. But in the distance it's such a super clear day we have our neighboring island over there guernsey you might see fishing with cow if you look closely on a cliff fishing away you've got sark little sark perm breku some of the beautiful islands here in the channel islands and on days like this so clear if you look out that way you have the paternosters just a group of reefs and then in the background, I don't know if you can see it, probably starting behind the pats, even though it does stretch a little bit further that way, you can see France. So clear today, all the way to it. I'm not too sure on what it is. Cartridge over there, Port Bay, um, yeah, a few other places, but yeah, absolutely stunning and beautiful day. So clear, so amazing, so lucky to live in a place like this that we can see this and yeah, just feel it. Now you wouldn't want to be in the drink today, you wouldn't want to be falling in. So, I've got the boots, got my waterproof jacket, not that that's going to do anything. I've got the HPA, I'll blow it up anyway just in case. Just a reminder, it's not a life jacket, but if you fell in, it could be some kind of raft. Help you. Hopefully we don't fall in. The water colour is pretty murky, but there are some spots in and around which are bearable so I'm gonna be fishing with white lures today this is the YKR that I always fish with and I've probably got some other white lures in there and we'll just have a flick and see if we can find some fish if we don't we don't it's a magic day absolutely magic day it's the first time I've been out in a while so I'm just enjoying myself big smile I'm gonna cast till I catch hopefully we catch yeah, and I'll just show you what I'm doing. But the best bit is, is just being out here, enjoying it. This is what it's all about for me. Just being out here, taking it all in, catching fish is just a bonus. We might be lucky to see some dolphins moving through, might even see a seal. Usually there are seals in and around this area at this time of the year. Hopefully we don't see the seal though, because I just don't like it when the seal's around, even though I've caught loads of bass when the seal is in and around hunting. Usually when there's a seal around, there's fish around. 
Right, let's get into it. Let's go down there. Let's get ready to rumble. So this is the start of the session. It's pretty rough down here. The weather's pretty wild, but I'm hoping to get my first fish on a lure in a couple of months. It's been a hard and rocky road. I've not really fished, but as I say, I've been fishing bait mostly, trying to catch my first underwear. I've come down to one of my favorite little marks at this time of the year. I've always picked up fish here, but today that watercolor is just a little bit murky. So I'm just gonna fish until I catch, if I catch. Usually I cast and wind, retrieving my lure at different paces, sometimes fast, sometimes slow. Then I'll cast out, I'll fish on the drop, rising my rod up, then letting my lure fall, wind. Rising my rod up, let the lure fall, wind. And these are the two main retrievals that I use when fishing these kind of white water, rough reefy marks with my sandhill kind of lure. Well, so far, no fish. I had one half-hearted tap, maybe a schoolie, maybe a pollock. I've changed over to a Savage Gear White V2. I'm just gonna just keep on bombing this reef for a bit. And then if we have nothing, I'll move to a metal, cover some area. But I'm gonna stay at it for now and just hope for the best. And fingers crossed we can get into something. A nice day deserves a nice fish. Just gotta watch this swell because it's monstrous. I'm staying up high because I just don't wanna get wet. Secondly, I don't wanna go in the drink. Thirdly, I just don't wanna be in the water at all. Just gotta be careful. It's proper pumping. But it's a beautiful day. As you can see, it's proper hooning in this swell. Got a big beefer on the back coming in. It's probably gonna cover that rock. It's always good if the swell gets big, just take a step back. You don't wanna be on the edge. Now I've had a few more knocks, small fish. Plucking the tail, my V2. And just keep at it for a bit and then maybe we'll move around a little bit fish over another part of the reef but hey it's fizzing up it's beautiful it's blue sky can't complain really to be honest it's just nice to be out again hopefully we can get into something though that is the one i might put a metal out and just fling it out there because there's a reef out in front of me and then maybe out there and see if we can get into something a little bit different like a pollock or Something else, that would be lovely. Right, I've been fishing with V2 and also a YKR, both pretty much the same profile, same size. Now I'm going to go to a metal, SeaTech, nice and cheap. Uh, this is 40 gram, it's a little bit heavy for my rod so I won't have to fling it too much but we'll get it out there and we'll cover surface the bottom, probably get it snagged up on the reef, see if there's anything here. If there's not, we'll move to somewhere else. Using a metal, is kind of like a last resort for me. If I'm going out to target something like a pollock, 
I'll use a metal. Fishing it deep, very slow, jigging it along the bottom, over the rock, over the weed, usually where the pollock hide. But in this particular moment, I wasn't catching anything on the soft plastics. I didn't have any hard lures with me. As I said, I was only out for a small amount of time. So what I done is I whacked on the metal, whacked it out as far as I could and covered as much ground as possible. And that's what I like to do with a metal or a slug. Cover as much ground, cover all the water layers, down deep, up top. But usually at this time of the year, the fish are gonna be down and deeper. Not like the summer where there's loads of bait fish around, the bass, the mackerel, the snipe, they're on the hunt, they're on the top layer of the surface and they're just foraging around. On this occasion, I'm fishing it deep within the snags. I'm probably gonna lose it, but I just wanna mix it up. Time to get out of this pit. Right, I've just had to move because the swell's just getting nuts, but literally second cast of the metal, I got hoovered, literally hoovered. Really good take on the rod and then it just dropped, probably a pollock. Um, so I've just moved around, a little bit safer. It's always better to be safer when you're alone. Obviously, it's always good to be safe all the time, but yeah, I'm just gonna fire some metals out and then what we'll do is we'll slowly move around and fish over the reef. Well, that's the session over. No fish today, big fat blank, but I had a really nice afternoon now. I really enjoyed it. It's been fun. I've had to be very careful. The swell has been really big, but I've also seen this massive bait ball happening out and I've just come back up to the car and I'm hoping to get the drone up and see if I can get it going again because the gannets are going berserk. They were absolutely hooning a bait ball in close, but anyway, it's been a great day, good session. Lost a few lures, but hey, I only came out for an hour just to get out. It was kind of a, a last minute thing. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a bit of fun. Sorry I didn't catch anything. That's just fishing, you know, blanks do happen and a lot of people don't, you know, put videos up of their blanks. Blanks are blanks and blanks happen. So uh, that's how it is. Till next time, let's go. See, this is the thing for me about fishing. Sometimes you catch, sometimes you don't. As you can probably see, the sea is absolutely mental. Huge swells rolling in, massive, battering our coastline. But it's just pictures like this and views of the sea crashing into our cliffs that just makes it that little bit special. Now, I've not caught any fish today, but I've enjoyed myself. I've breathed that fresh air, that sea air into the nostrils, and I've just enjoyed myself. The sun, the sea breeze, and this picturesque perfection now i've not seen actually any dolphins today and dolphins are a really good thing to look for in these particular areas especially in the run you can see this area where you can see the foam moving through where the run is running out to sea usually this holds the bait fish and this is where the gannets are patrolling up and down the gannets are probably looking for mackerel or sardines or herring fish that have schooled up in a certain area they can see them from above and they just bomb dive them you're either in the right place at the right time, but just enjoy it. That's why I love just being outside. Blank is a blank today, but I've got all of this. How amazing is it?